Okay. My last video got interrupted. And I... Confession time. Need to... I need to... Take the time to learn how to... This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing right here. I've done... I've literally done over a thousand YouTube videos. I had a channel before this. And I need to learn how to cut videos and edit them together. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got the, uh, I got the talking in front of a camera part down. But there's other parts. There's other parts to a successful YouTube channel. Like, probably, like, at least three other key areas, like, pff, macro. But, I, I'm... I'm getting carried away. Let's go back to these important inventions. They're just small. You know, they're just... But, and that's why they get overlooked. It's very important. Um, Colt. Sam Colt invented the repeating uh, handgun. You know. Remember, six shooters with the... Right? Which is where we get Russian roulette from. But, again, I digress. Um, with that, there's a little bit of... There's gunpowder in the base of the bullet. A pin strikes it, causing like a micro-explosion in the base of it, which shoots the projectile out from the front, which is connected to the bullet. And with that, no longer did you have to take a full minute to reload your gun for one shot. Um, with that, it became possible to have a gun as a, uh, as a method of, you know, home defense. And that kind of changed the interpretation of the Second Amendment, because when they invented the, uh, Constitution, or uh, when they wrote it, that guns were different. Guns took a full minute to load. You couldn't store them in the house, or store the gunpowder in the house, because, um, it could explode. And then your house would, and you with it would be gone. You, you got to store the gunpowder somewhere else. Like that's where they had they had magazines, um, and that's where they stored the gunpowder. They had uh, an armories, okay. So, so it was a way different world with guns when they when they wrote the Second Amendment. But then the Second Amendment evolved. See, because they did write the Second Amendment to protect the individual's right to uh, keep and bear arms, but arms were different when they wrote it, so it's, it's, then it had to evolve, and that's why, and that's what's cool, I guess, about the way they wrote the Constitution, they wrote it to stick to basic, important principles, then, but then to evolve with the times, as, as we did, as we became smarter, and um, technology became better. So just the bullet, very important invention because without it, we can't have the repeating um, handgun uh, because you got to reload. That takes about a minute unless you're really good. Uh, but it's, you know, you may be, maybe you could cut it in half. But I mean, if you're thinking about that and you're, if you're in a battle, <laughs> you know, <sighs> hold on, got to reload. Oh my gosh, every time. I mean, so, so, so that changed, that really changed things. You know, and, and then just another one, it's very interesting, that actually changed things. Pre-rolled cigarettes. I mean, people don't think, the, the whole, you know, it's, as you know, there's been movies, books, a lot written on like the addictive nature of cigarettes and like how they're habit forming. But a lot of it too isn't just, you could stop it just how nicotine is one of the most addictive substances on earth. But, but then with the, when they, whoever figured out, hey, we should just roll the cigarettes and sell them that way. That person was genius, and I want to know who it was. They should get a gold star because, like, other, before that, people had to roll them themselves and could not just impulsively grab for one unless they'd rolled the whole bunch, which they did. Kept them in a little tin. 
But again, there's something more like, you know, old westish, like charming to that. It's like, well, you know, if you roll them all, you went to the works, do it, and yada yada yada. But whoever figured out, let's make just bunches of them already rolled with the filter in it, like sell them by the pack. That person nailed it. That that they took and took their industry to like to, to the top, I guess, of their now. And then created like controversy for centuries to come, because uh, you know, because they're like, this is, this is intentionally manipulative and, and made to hook people. Everything is. The point of capitalism is it's the the law. The law is okay. Capitalism is based on oh, on profit. Okay, and if and you're supposed to be maximizing profit, and that is exactly, it's the only thing your corporation is supposed to be based on, and it's the law, and if that's not what you're doing, your shareholders can sue you, so people get pissed about corporations, they're always just concerned about profit, yeah, because it's the law, that's the law of capitalism, and you will get sued if you don't, um, so, so people should learn more, like, that's the, our law, that's I'm, I'm like we defend capitalism like a religion so you know know what know your religion i guess but it's like and i don't i like capitalism it's entertaining and then and, and there's a lot of freedom in it to choose how you're gonna how you're going to try and maximize profits you know but it's about maximizing profits and only that and so that's the downfall of it because there's more to life than just profits, but um, profits are good. We just need to find a way to uh, somehow tailor into our system, you know, our other values. However, we're going to do it. Like, uh, you know, it's up to us. And it's not clear cut. It's something we got to figure out. But that's the fun of it, you know? That's the fun of it. And then in the future, like, the generations to come will be like, that's cool how they figured that out. But man, they sure were simple. They'll think we were simple. You know, and we will be compared to what they can do. It's crazy to think about. But, thanks for watching. Part two. I'm really, and now I think I'm like, they're like, ah, oh, that took too long on part two. I was because like, it's probably like about 10.30 now. We're supposed to leave at 10.30. And I'm not even ready. Look at my hair, man. It's like, I just woke up. Shit. Anyhow, thank you for watching. I'm so glad I can roll my R's. It's something you never, it's never called for in English. You know, it's just like throw it in whenever you feel like it. You know, rolling your R's. You know, in, in Spanish, there's an actual, there's times you're supposed to do it. Not in English. Just for fun in English. Anyways, hmm. Gotta go to Toffus Park. There's a zoo there. Mm. Low to mid range, but still good. Very charming. Just Google Toffus Park if you've never been there. Peace out.